The doctor says it's normal post-operative pain, but you don't feel well. You feel fatigued, you feel sore, you don't feel right. What happened next? Come join me and I'll share with you exactly what happened next. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law here in the state of New York. My client underwent a surgical procedure, a laparoscopic gynecologic procedure to remove fibroids. Following the surgery, she was having severe abdominal pain. Her son called the doctor, the surgeon who performed the procedure, and said, doctor, my mom is having severe abdominal pain. You know what the doctor said? It's normal post-operative complication. Don't worry about it. She'll be fine. Have her take some Tylenol. Have her take some medicine. Let her rest, and she'll be just fine. The son, believing the doctor, did exactly that. Gave his mom some Tylenol, put her to rest, and that was the end, or so he thought. In the morning, he hears his mother getting up to go to the bathroom. Next thing he knows, his mother is passed out on the floor. She's dead on arrival. What happened? What happened was that the doctor, and we didn't learn this until after an autopsy was performed. And if you don't know, an autopsy is an examination performed on a person who has died by a doctor known as a pathologist. And the purpose is to establish what was the cause of death. Why did the person die? It wasn't until after this examination, this autopsy was performed, that it turned out that the patient had a bowel perforation, which means that the intestines had been leaking and the contents of the bowel had been leaking. Well, how did that happen? It happened because during the course of the surgery, the surgeon failed to properly recognize that there was a bowel hole, that there was a hole made during the course of surgery. And the doctor failed to recognize it and fix it during the time of surgery. So from the time she left surgery after having the same day procedure to remove fibroids, what wound up happening was that the contents of her bowel continued to leak into her belly. And as a result of that leakage, she developed a severe infection, really, really severe infection that spread throughout her entire body. She got weak, she, got, she had pain in her belly, she had significant uh, fatigue, and she knew something wasn't right. What the doctor should have done, according to our medical experts, is he should have had the patient come into the office immediately to get checked. As an alternative, he should have sent the patient into the emergency room for an immediate evaluation. Why do I share this information with you? I share this information with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into one case that I handled involving a failure to diagnose a bowel perforation following gynecologic surgery. Chances are you're watching this because you have questions and concerns about your own particular matter and you're wondering whether or not you may have a valid case involving a bowel injury that occurred during surgery. Well, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I answer legal questions like yours every single day. You can reach me at 516-487. 8207 or by email at lawmed10 at yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Oginski here in New York. Thanks for watching.